sorry, let me just tune in a little bit right quick. So let's talk about that Monica thing where she trying to come and relive and be be there for C murder again. I'm sorry, as an inmate. C murder. You know damn well you don't want no Monica. Okay, and Monica, you know you only want C murder now because your husband gone and you want that old thing back. That that is that's none of that's gonna happen in real in reality. I, I I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? So but everybody that they keep thinking that dumb shit gonna happen for them in reality just it just it don't make no sense. You think this the same man that that you left all those years ago and had kids on and and was messing with other men with publicly you think that's the same man that's gonna be there for you for real when, and you gonna have him around your kids and be in a relationship with him when he get home then it's the same man who done sat there monica his family done took care of him you know what his first sentence or whatever master people saying they done took care of him all the first time or whatever that he was in jail or in trouble or in a situation whatever and then he sit there and act like when he get in this second situation nobody never been there for him nobody ever did nothing for him because they ain't doing nothing right now because they ain't saying yes right now meanwhile these people is doing COVID 19 they trying to keep their things afloat. And unfortunately, people don't got time to be going back and forth with people that keep putting themselves in lower places that they don't got to be in and, and, and pulling them out. Master P said that they was down for him the first time he went. They was going back and forth, um, going, to, going to see him, putting money on his books, getting strip searched, all of those things. And then here goes C Murder, want to go back when he get out, want to go back to the hood with the same people who ain't do nothing for him while he was locked up. And now he back up in a, a, a bind. He caught up in a situation. And now he think that his family got to once again come and re rescue him and relieve him. Meanwhile, in the process, he ain't even told nobody thank you. Because now that's, it's finally somebody who who basically you 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 second to. I, I don't care how much of a first love he was. Baby, he is second on your mind because he was that first much of a love, honey. When no nigga, you wouldn't be with no nigga publicly, okay? I'm sorry, you wouldn't. Say what you want. You wouldn't be with no other man publicly but him if he was such a, a if you loved him so much. It's a way to keep that under wraps. But anyway, then you expect this same man that you done that you done did all these things to that you done lived your life on left and probably didn't write for years while you was with your man and you think you expect this same man to be loyal to you ten toes down for you when he get out like life at the lock up love at the lock up episode season season five episode six you looking real chevelle -ish. you looking real quailing -ish over there baby i'm sorry like uh Ain't no way you in the hell you telling me a woman that's divorced with all those kids won't need need a man that damn in jail. Ain't got no money. Like I, I just hope that she, you know, getting him out of jail. Because she want him out of jail. That's her homie, her dog. You know what I'm saying? She want him out of jail. I hope all these allegations that they saying about her wanting him back. Cause she want to be with him. I just hope that ain't true because I'm sorry. I'm sick of it. Like, I, like you could, we could bash men all day. Yes. You could bash men all day and say they ain't no good, but it's just like, why do we keep going in these no good men places, finding them, digging for them, searching for them, yearning for them, calling them, picking up their goddamn phone calls when they keep picking up their calls, when they keep picking up their calls, when they calling you, why we doing that? Then you want sympathy, you want to make love songs, you want to make, you trying to make another new album about this no good nigga, because why else would you want to be with, with one? <sighs> Ladies, y'all are beautiful, okay? Honey, you deserve the man, a man that's going to give you the world. I don't give a damn about how many kids you got. I just feel like it's a way you got to go about getting those things. When you got a little more baggage, it's a way you got to go about carrying yourself to make what you got going on look a little more like, mm, you know, mm, really? That's what she got going on? Damn. I didn't know that. Mm. 
God, God got favor all over her. You know what I'm saying? You can't have people looking at you like, mm, look at her. She got all them. She don't deserve nothing. Look at her. Mm. Cause you was you sitting over there frolicking around and making yourself look like and representing yourself as such. Like, come on, y'all. Like we 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 deserve better. We are better. Like we ain't no city girls, no Megan the Stallion. Them bitches ain't real. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really doing that shit in real life. They sitting there waiting on their man to submit to. Okay, they waiting on their good man. They still out here getting shot in the foot. They still out here defending defending men that done uh put their hands on them obviously more than once and then and done been violent to them obviously more than once you know what i'm saying they still protecting them so they won't look like no snitches they still taking them back when they cheat on them they still out here doing all these things and y'all want to be down on the floor and y'all knees twerking with like them they that they, they, they that's a cartoon baby girl like I said, I could talk all day about this shit. <sighs> Thank y'all for tuning in again, y'all. I got a headache now. I got to go. I got to go tune in back into my real life because having to tap into this shit, you're giving me a headache, y'all. Just understand that you are powerful, honey. You a strong Nubian queen. I'm telling you, if you got any skin complexion problems, you want to go over there and get you listen to you some Danielle Brooks. I'm a black woman. Then you want to go over there and listen to you some Molly Music Beautiful, okay? 